Let me check the date of this again. SmackDown, March 26, 2019. They had a gauntlet match. It was announced by Vince McMahon. A little bit in the end with him. And they had another gauntlet match. It's been entertaining. I'll admit that. Uh, I'm worried about injuries for players that, for t people who wrestle, wrestlers who keep going in these matches for like one hour periods. Especially when later on in pay per views where they have to go along too. Of the st they're not understaffed. That being said, the matches have been very entertaining, especially on SmackDown where they have all these gauntlet matches. Gauntlet matches down. Gauntlet legends. Um, that being said, very entertaining. I don't like Rusev and when the Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura turn heel, like this seems very random to me. Um, Nakamura did the job because like they don't want to push him, and they screwed it up. Okay. Otherwise, it was a pretty good match. I thought, uh... I was wondering in the match, like, if he was supposed to be, like, the Hakushi to, like, someone else's Bret Hart, AJ Styles' Bret Hart, Bullet Club, NWO, etc. Um, I don't know if Bret Hart ended up in DX. Probably would never happen, but it would be an interesting change. I was wondering if Lloyd Lawson was in DX. Um... I remember Russo in this match. I forgot if Lana was even in the match. I don't have the Indian English. I haven't been paying attention to the wrestling and it's been improving, but a little bit. No Kenya Mega, thank goodness, and uh, no Monopoly. I like. The Bombay A's are pretty good. Zero Woods' Bombay A's are pretty good too. Big E was very. Big E versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I would love that as a Mania main event. It has possibilities. Xavier versus... I don't know if Xavier versus Nakamura. I don't know if that looks as good, but I don't know. Well, like... Yes, I compare Big E Langston to Bret Hart versus Nakamura's Hakushi. Then they had Cesaro and Sheamus. They were very close to having Cesaro do the job. I, I actually didn't see the finish of the match, but thank goodness that wasn't the finish. It was pretty good. The They've been using very good old-school NWA, bringing up the pins with breakups. It's been very good, solid wrestling tag team-wise. Then they had... I wasn't really surprised that this happened, but it's still good to have Rowan and Danielson... We're going to pick the big guy. I would like to see him as tag champs. That would be very interesting. I, I would like to see Daniel some of the tag champs with Rowan. Really elevate both those guys that way and the division. Being the real champs. Um, I don't know who's in the competition now. There's a great counter where Danielson grabs the ropes and then gets ST Joe'd anyway by Biggie Langston. He likes is basically the small Joe now. Um, he's strong. He's big. Doesn't really do submissions. I didn't see enough in the match to see if Danielson did the stuff. Submissions. Technical wrestling. I don't think he really does it. He just mainly went for knees and kicks. The finish was Danielson getting... I forget how he went to the outside. Oh, it was like a... Xavier Woods did the DDT thing a few times. It looked very dangerous on freaking Danielson, especially since he has concussion history. Um, Rowan was knocked under a table, and if this is Hulk Hogan, he'd be busting out the table like freaking cool, the Kool-Aid drinking guy, the mascot, like... There's no way he's, a freaking table's gonna stop him. In real life, maybe, but not like... Uh, in WWE world. So anyway, they, they won't be count out. I wonder if they're going to do like a DQ thing, but I don't think so because they're going Vince McMahon's, the Vince McMahon were all saying in the end. He doesn't think he'll be able to beat Danielson. I don't know if he's trying to turn face or whatever. I do expect a injury angle. 
Hopefully it'll go well. Where's the last second of script?